Retro Gaming Spotlight. Coming this October, Konami will be releasing the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection across various platforms. It will include updated HD versions of the classic Metal Gear games, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty, and Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And as popular and famous as these games are, the story doesn't start here. For that, we need to go all the way back to 1987, for a game released on a computer system that, while not popular in the US, was huge in Japan, and parts of Europe too. That computer was the MSX system. The MSX was developed by Microsoft and ASCII and, like PCs in America, was a standardized 8-bit system with several manufacturers making MSX computers. The MSX was first developed in 1983 and retained its popularity throughout the 80s before being overshadowed by the 16-bit computers and consoles of the 1990s. There were several iterations of the MSX throughout its lifetime, including the MSX2 and the MSX2 Plus. But one game in particular that got its start on the MSX was the game Metal Gear. Metal Gear was the brainchild of Hideo Kojima and was published by Konami for the MSX2 in 1987. It would be a few months later before this game would make it to the Famicom and then in 1988 to the NES in America under Konami's Ultra Games label. Metal Gear has you take on the role of Solid Snake, a special forces operative whose goal is to infiltrate an enemy base called Outer Heaven and destroy a top secret weapon called Metal Gear. Interestingly enough, the game was first envisioned as a typical run and gun style action game. But due to the limits of the MSX2 hardware, Kojima decided to rework the game into the more stealth heavy version we've come to associate with the franchise. Instead of going in guns blazing, it was more important to sneak around and avoid capture, only fighting when absolutely necessary. This made for a very unique gameplay experience compared to the more action-heavy games of the late 1980s. And here's something interesting regarding the main character, Solid Snake. While many people believe that the name was taken from Kurt Russell's character of Snake Plissken from the movie Escape from New York, Kojima has stated that this isn't true. He said that the name Snake came about to represent the stealthy nature of the game. He added the word solid to the name to give the impression of someone with a hardened image. In addition, Snake was originally meant to have a personality in the mold of characters like Lupin III from the Lupin series, a wisecracking womanizer. Now, this characterization has changed over the years to the more gruff version we know today, although, let's face it, Snake still loves the ladies. Your Meryl, there's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. How did you... Luckily, the upcoming Master Collection will include the MSX version of both the original Metal Gear and its sequel, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. You'll also be able to check out the NES version of Metal Gear as well as the non-canon Snake's Revenge. So, if you really want to go back in time and see where this series started, be sure to check out the original version of Metal Gear. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I hear someone coming. I gotta find a cardboard box to hide under. See ya!